Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the all-new Kia Stinger here in Malaysia. And yes, you can buy one from official distributor Naza Kia and stick a number plate on it. Here's the first look of the Korean brand's first ever sports sedan. The Stinger project is no secret, having first presented itself as a concept car back in 2011 called the Concept GT. Now, if you compare the concept car and this production model right here, you can tell that the Kia designers did not deviate much from the early sketches of the car. After having Peter Schreier held the design team, Kia has come with some pretty good looking cars over the recent years. And this Stinger I feel is their best one yet. It still has Kia's familiar tiger nose grille, slim LED headlamps, functional air curtains, and those bonnet vents up there for extra road presence. I like how Kia has given the front grille, side mirrors and wheels a dark chrome finish. It gives the car a more elegant appearance, don't you think? The side profile is the only place you can easily tell the GT line and the range topping GT variant apart. This top of the range GT variant here rides on larger 19-inch alloys that hides the red painted Brembo brake calipers. The GT line on the other hand rides on smaller 18-inch items and standard brake calipers. Over to the rear, the Stinger GT has a droopy face going on thanks to this LED combination tail lamp design. A props to Kia for giving the Stinger proper, proper quad exhaust outlets. If there's one thing I'm not a fan of, are these trims that resembles an air vents right here. I don't know about you, but I'm really, really not a fan of fake trims. Powering this Stinger GT is a 3.3-litre twin turbocharged V6 that puts out 365 horsepower and 510 Nm of torque. The engine is paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission to send all that power exclusively to the rear wheels. 0 to 100 takes 4.9 seconds onwards to a top speed of 269 km per hour. If you find the 3.3-litre twin turbocharged V6's road tax a little bit too steep, NASA Kia Malaysia offers the 2-litre four-cylinder turbo variant that puts out 255 horsepower and 353 Nm of torque. That is also paired to an 8-speed auto and rear-wheel drive. After swooning over its gorgeous exterior, the cabin of the Stinger GT is somewhat an underwhelming place to be in because as futuristic as Kia tries to paint the interior, I still feel the stark resemblance to regular Kia models. Take this steering wheel for example, it feels like I'm holding the same ones on the Optima GT. Not very cool. This 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system and analog dials on the instrument cluster just dials the cabin experience further. But if you look past all that, everything else is all good from the 12-weight powered adjusted seats, 15-speaker Harman Kardon sound system, this powered sunroof, dozen automatic climate control, and Napa leather upholstery. Despite its fastback design, I can still get quite comfortable in the rear seats of the Stinger GT. As you can see, I have plenty of knee room and a decent amount of headroom. My only complaint is the smallish footwell that doesn't allow my legs to slot underneath the front seats. Other than that, it's all good. The fastback design of the Stinger GT means that its boot space is somewhat a little bit of a compromise but the tailgate still opens up to 406 litres of boot space. NASA Kia Malaysia has two variants of the Kia Stinger on sale, the 2-litre GT line priced at 240,000 ringgit and the 3.3-litre GT for 310,000 ringgit. Now our question to you dear viewers is whether this Kia Stinger GT is a good enough alternative to other German sports sedan. Leave us a comment down below and tell us what you think. For more information of the all-new Kia Stinger, do log on to autobus.my. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. As always, thanks for watching, my name is Adrian and I'll see you guys in the next video.